Ryan writes, hey, Collider Crew, love this show and watch it every day. Keep up the great work. My question is regarding the budgets for TV shows, the quality of some TV shows. Many people think that some TV shows have a good enough budget or story to become movies. Do you think TV shows should try to put out a movie based on the show? I know some TV shows like Doctor Who who have put out certain episodes in theaters and they've done so well. So do you think they should try to put out a movie? I would love to hear your opinions on this topic. Christian, you know who did this really well? Uh, Battlestar Galactica. When Battlestar Galactica rebooted itself, they started with like an hour and a half, two hour movie. Yeah. And it really set up the universe and the world well. Um, there are some shows, depending on the subject matter, that that can work for sure. I think that, and I think, I don't know if the, if the, viewer means to release it theatrically. Yeah, I think so. See, mm. theatrically, eh, I, I, I don't know, because so far, Entourage didn't work, um, Veronica Mars, um, and then there's, I, I always they always talked about Sopranos doing one at, at one point when, when James Gandolfini was still around. Um, I don't know. I think sometimes it, it's, it's the medium is, is set for when when it's on TV, it works on TV because I think also Netflix and Amazon has changed the game because when you're watching those shows again, we bring back Bloodline. Those that that that's a movie. I mean, that really is like da a ten hour, da twelve hour. Daredevil movie. is a ten hour movie yeah. from because of the way it's released as ten episodes. It's written like they they know when they're writing it that they're gonna have to do all these episodes, and it's from start to finish. They know where they're going. They know how to piece it in. I think that benefits the stories because the writers are able to not just go week by week. Like what happened with Lost during season two, the show was lost. Yeah. Like they, it was because they had to keep pumping out these episodes week to week. Then they had to take this big hiatus. I think the way of the the, the TV show on network is is almost like a dinosaur now. It's so it's so dated and that's why you st but you still go well can i play that should that become a movie if you look at the way it is now on netflix and the way that it is on amazon those are your movies yeah uh, i think uh, one of the better examples of that now on tv is mr robot um the creator sam uh, ismail he actually wanted mr robot to be a film he brought it to his manager mm -hmm. producer and said hey this is my idea but the, the script was just so long it was so big it's like it's like hey you ever thought about tv so USA took the risk and picked it up. It's a very risky show. I don't know if anybody's ever seen it here, but it's a very risky show. It takes a lot of chances. Very uh, filmic in the way it's shot. Very yeah. interesting shot choices, stuff you would see on film as opposed to on television. And it's paid off because you can tell this large, expansive story. So my uh, answer to the question is I don't think it always has to be geared towards going to the big screen. I think TV, that sounds corny, but lives in TV for a reason, and it does well because you can stay with these characters. Like you know, Sinead, you're watching PPL. You can stay with these these girls for like five or six years and learn more about them every single season. And I don't want to just throw that on the big screen for two hours in a self-contained story and just lock it down. I think it breathes better when it's on television. Yeah, I want to address also when he, <clears throat> when he's asking about the Doctor Who mm -hmm. that 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 kind of is related to that revenue per screen thing. It's it's they don't put that those specials like on like a ton of screens. They put on a few, and then they get all the diehard fans to go, and of right. course they do well. But imagine if you did that wide release. You took a Doctor Who episode, and you're like, all right, we're gonna show two of those in theaters this weekend. You did like Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, two thousand. Yeah. 2,000, 3,000 theaters, not everyone's going to go see it. It's going to not do well. Game of Thrones is an example where I think that could work uh, just because of the way the show is. They can take maybe not the same characters or the exact same story and just do something beforehand and make a move out of it and people go see it. But in general, a lot of television shows story-wise aren't made for yeah, movies. It's mm -hmm. funny because I'll go back a little bit on what I said because when we talk about Game of Thrones, if there was like a prequel um, movie about you know yeah. how the, the Mad King and all that stuff happened. Just oh, I'd see it if there was a yeah. movie on the Mad King because of the way Game of Thrones is shot, and it wasn't, and and they only had a story to tell for like two hours, two and a half hours. Then I could understand that for sure. But I think that if you're just stretching it to make a movie for your property that's already succeeded on television, like David was saying, mm -hmm. I don't necessarily know if it's needed. All right, yeah. Sinead, what do you think? Um, well, I feel like if we talk about Game of Thrones, like Game of Thrones is a cinematic experience yeah. on its own. And I agree, it's not an it's not a necessity. You do that for your fans. Like you do it for the fans. That's the fans reach out for that. If you talk about entourage, it was like an extended entourage episode, right? That's right. how it felt yeah. when you saw it. Would I like be dying to see that entourage movie again? No, but I enjoyed it because I 
loved Entourage. So it was like, oh my gosh, I loved it. Like it was so funny, but it wasn't needed. Game of Thrones, any any great show and like TV right now especially is incredible. TV is so good at you could watch like TV shows are made so that you can binge watch, right? Even something as heavy as Game of Thrones, like you can binge watch it for hours, like and things like Netflix or Hulu, it allows you to do that and it works. And there's it's not a need, I think that when studios take a TV show and put it in theaters, it's more thank you so much to our fans for watching for five, six, seven, eight, nine years. Here you go. Like, here's our thank you. Here's your closure. Let's tie a pretty bow on it. That kind of thing. It's worked before also. I mean, even though I'll never watch this another one again, but the Sex and the City movies. Mm-hmm. Totally. Like the, the, the first movie was, I, I think the fans were re, of the show were very happy with the first one. And then because the first one was a success, then they stretched it and then they did a second one and people And look writing, how that didn't, you know. And people were riding on camels. <laughs> so it was like a, they weren't even in the city <laughs> anymore. No, so, so, but... You know, there's that risk of once you hit success, they want to keep doing more. But that, that's an example, I think, of one that actually worked from little screen to big. And I wasn't here on that episode, but uh, remember the rumors of the Deadwood movie yeah, right. being a theatrical? I was actually, even though I love Deadwood, I'm against that because yeah. the my concern is they're going to want to kind of movie it up, right? right. They're going to like, all right, we need to get spectacle. We need to do this. We need to get people, not just our fans, but get the rest of the audience in. And Deadwood is not like that. Deadwood is right. literally about people sitting around talking to each other mm-hmm. most of the time. And the only one I'd want to see is a Dexter movie so they could f- clear up that garbage. Oh, that was awful <laughs> <finale>. <laughs> that was horrible. Clear it up. That was horrible.